All right, well, that will be plenty enough time for me to go over uh, this information. So again, ladies and gentlemen, remember what we're trying to do is we're trying to find the roots um, or the solutions of this equation, the equation that's going to make this true. So when looking at a trinomial, the main important thing is we can't, a lot of times we can't solve them using some of our old methods. What we're going to want to do is see if we can create this into what we call the product of uh, two factors. So if I can write this as a product, I can use the zero product property, which we talked about. So right now I have x squared minus 3x plus 2. To write this as a product, one way you can do this is I always like, I think it's just helpful, to create your little tree diagram where you can have a times c up top and b on the bottom. So a times c in this case is 1 times 2. And then my b is a negative 3. So now I need to write down the factors of 2 because I need to say what two numbers multiply to give me 2, but then add to give me 3, negative 3. Well, the only possible solutions for this, right, there's only two of them. It's either 2 times 1 gives you, gives you 2, and negative 2 times negative 1 gives you 2. But what's the only two out of those, or what's the only one that gives, adds up to give you negative 3? So you write negative 2 and negative 1. What two multiply to give you 2, but add to give you negative 3? So what do I do with those? I write them as a product of two factors. Now, why do we write them as a product of two factors? The reason why you guys want to solve it by this way, right? because you guys, we can't solve it like this. You can't say 3x equals 6. What do you do there? You get x by itself, right? That was easy to get x by itself. Here, it's hard. You have more than 1x, right? You have more than 1x, so you can't just say get x by itself. Here, when we did this, what did we do here? We undid the square rooting, right? But you can't undo the square root because then you're going to square root this x. So, you just can't, so it's not as simple as these one and two step equations. So when you have a trinomial, or when you can create it looking to trinomial, you have to break it up into your two factors. Now what I can do is use my zero product property which states if, eight, if two numbers multiply to give you 0 or two factors multiply to give you 0, that means a equals 0 or b equals 0. So therefore, Destin, I can write x minus 2 equals 0 or x minus 1 equals 0. Now can I solve each one of these equations separately? Yes, you can just say add 2 to both sides, x equals 2, add 1 x equals 1. Dustin, does that make sense? Huh? And that's your answer. Because plug in 1 into your solution. Remember, if it's a solution, that means it makes it true, right? 1 squared is 1 minus 3 times 1, which is negative 2. Negative 2 plus 2 is 0, right? Negative 3. Negative 3 plus 2 is what? Negative 1. 1 Okay, now let's do 2. 2 squared is 4. four negative 3 times 2 is negative 6. 4 times negative, or 4 minus 6 is negative 2. Negative 2 plus 2 is 0. See how it works for both of them? There we go. So how does that have anything to do with the graph? Ah, okay. 